a WWE Hall of Famer written by Jimmy Valiant with Angel. And uh, uh, the, the difference is, uh, you know, I had the same deal that Dusty Rhodes had, uh, that uh, uh, superstar Billy had. Uh, I, I, that, well, he, not, not Billy because he went eventually with WWE. Yeah. They, they, they promoted his. But uh, with uh, um, uh, uh, Terry Funk, uh, uh, with uh, Harley Race, all these yeah. guys, uh, they did their own uh, 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 book deal themselves. Well, I had the same deal that they had. Uh, you know, I could have had the same deal. Okay. But instead, uh, Angel and myself, we wrote every word ourselves. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're Jerry Lawler and, and Dusty and all these guys. They wrote, uh, their, it's their story, their autobiography with some other uh, uh, person, which is a professional writer. Okay. Well, you know, these writers, they stay with the, the boys, you know, a couple weeks, you know, yeah. and then they go back to New York or to California or wherever, and then they uh, sit in their office and they write the book, you know. Uh, they, they tape record the, or they, they yeah. do this or that. But, and now they, they email them a couple times. They may call them a few times, but when the book comes out, then it's, it's their story. It's the star's story, but it's in that writer's form, it's, it's in his rhythm, it's in his words, in other words, you know, sure, sure. And, and here, not one word in my book, 566 pages, uh, is, is um, I okayed every single word because it was written by Jimmy Valiant with Angel, me and my angel wrote this book, uh, <laughs> and Frankie, and it took us five years, you know, yeah. and uh, so it's great, you know, it starts out at birth, you know, and goes all the way yeah, until yeah. I, I go into my last match, and uh, explains everything about uh, um, you know uh, all all it make you cry or make you laugh you know it yep. it, it does yeah it does so many I tell so all, all kinds of road stories you know and uh, it's just a, a, a great great read for wrestling fans and and for other people you know because yeah. I tell uh, I tell stories you know and uh, I, I give messages to the young kids you know don't do this don't do that you know yeah. like I have you know yeah. I abuse yeah. my body you know I, I I did this I did that and the reason that I tell all this on myself, you know, is that if I can help one person, one human being, one one little girl, one little boy, you yeah. know, one man, one woman, then my life and this book, my book, Will Mercy Daddy, will not be in vain. That's right. And uh, uh, even uh, with your book, uh, I even asked Greg uh, when I interviewed him, that uh, even he's uh, working on a book. He's working on it right now. He hasn't got it finished yet, but he's... Right. Uh, Workout. Did you ever have a chance to wrestle with him at all? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, many times. And I talk about it in here. I talk a lot about Greg and his father. And, and uh, yeah, I was in, of course, New York. I trained, teamed up with him uh, when I came into uh, uh, Mid-Atlantic uh, before the Boogie Woogie Man. When I came in as Handsome Jimmy, and, and uh, they, they uh, changed me for a short time as, uh, to uh, King James. I talk about it. And uh, they came me and the Hammer up together in, in there, and we went against the... Uh, 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 Ebony Diamond, which was the, the, the Rocky Johnson yeah. and, and uh, 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 the Rock Father, and uh, a bad Leroy Brown. So uh, we, we uh, teamed up against them guys. Had a great summer run, man. You know, in all the summer clubs and. Uh, did tr terrific business with him, and uh, and then I was in New York with him, uh, you know, a couple yeah. different times when he we wrestled WWF. Yeah, we were yeah. 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 mm -hmm. uh, Okay, uh, now back to to this. Uh, will there ever be a Jimmy Valiant DVD out? Uh, yeah, I have two. Uh, I have two now, you know, uh, okay. uh, volume one, volume two, and uh, uh, anybody go to jimmyvalia.com and, and go to the souvenir list, and uh, uh, I have two DVDs. I got a CD. I'm singing uh, <laughs> uh, uh, three songs on the CD, and uh, then my uh, theme music uh, that came out, The Boy from New York City, yeah. and is on there and, and other theme music that came out too and uh, of course Angel uh, uh, my lovely wife she's singing seven uh, or eight of songs on that oh. so uh, it's a CD and uh, uh, we have t-shirts hats uh, you know uh, uh, bumper stickers man you know we have everything you know uh, on the if you want a souvenir you know everything so, a person would ever want basically you probably. better believe it yes sir for um, I, I'll be honest I have a I don't have a DVD of you, but I have. I did recently, uh, wait, about a while back, I went to Grand Forks and uh, North Dakota and uh, went to the Walmart over there. And uh, uh, and yes, it was in the cheap, you know, DVD bin, whatever, what have you. But 
I, I found a copy of uh, uh, Superstars, the early years and whatnot, and you're on a, uh, I forgot what the match was, uh, who you faced, but you're, you're actually on a compilation disc that I own. So, <laughs> anyway, I figured I'd just tell you that for my lousy two cents, I guess. That's good, 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 thank you, great. Thank okay. You. And let's see, uh, now the, on from the, the DVD on to this, uh, now that uh, you said you were inducted in 1996, November 96, was this, uh, I think this was the day prior to the 96 Survivor Series? Is that right? it, yes, yes, it sure was. was like in New York or whatever? Yeah. Yes, yes, uh-huh. And uh, they flew me and Angel in, and my daughters came in from Chicago, and uh, it was just a, a great time. I talk about this also in my book, and uh, uh, of course, Vince, you know, he, yeah. when he puts on a, a shindig, man, he goes first yeah. class. He was just like his father, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, you know, his, his father, Vince Senior. You know, I, I worked. I went to New York three different times. You know, and stayed over a year each time. I went in 1970, 1974, 1978, sure. and uh, so so I was the original Valiant. You know, Jimmy Valiant. Then we made Johnny Valiant. Yeah. I had some Jimmy and the luscious Johnny. Yep. You know, and then uh, a gentleman Jerry came in. You know, later, and uh, uh, of course the Captain Lou Abano was a, a manager, <laughs> and, and uh, a great, the Grand Wizard manager. Yeah. Yeah. As, 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 as a handsome Jimmy, and uh, yep. uh, it was just a great run. And uh, uh, of course, the Gorilla Monsoon. I lived there twice in yep. uh, in Willingboro, and uh, uh, Gorilla mm -hmm. Monsoon is from Willingboro, right okay. there. And uh, uh, w when uh, Angel and myself, we had to come back. We couldn't uh, stay for the Sunday. Um, uh, it matches and everything yeah. because the BWC, I always had to come back for a camp, and I didn't want to disappoint the the, the boys, the kids, you know. Yeah. So, so uh, we flew out early that next morning. But my daughters, they went home. In fact, with the uh, uh, gorilla and uh, his lovely wife Maureen, and uh, they stayed another two or three days, and then they flew out of Philly. Um, Willingboro is real close to Philadelphia, and and, and uh, so he took them home from uh, after the um, uh, ceremony and, and uh, the induction. Uh, WWE Hall of Fame sure. ceremony, and um, so they stayed another three days and visited, of course, with them. And, and uh, my my daughters, they all uh, uh, was, was raised there, you know, a, a couple years of their life. You know, and they still had friends and in, in school, and then so uh, they, they they enjoyed that time. Okay, well, cool. I mean, that uh, how how did you feel after being inducted? Oh, it was great. You know, it, it was uh, probably the greatest honor. You know, uh, of course. Uh, uh, you can get, you know, I mean, you're, you're, yeah. you're, you're uh, uh, this is what you work for, and uh, to, to be in, uh, in uh, you to know, I, I've got many, yeah. many uh, uh, Hall of Fame, uh, you know, uh, uh, inductions, um, you know, I was the youngest uh, uh, for Bob Luce in the Chicago Amphitheater, you know, yeah. uh, to be inducted in, uh, into their uh, 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 amphitheater. Uh, I was in uh, the St. Louis, um, uh, you know, he had, uh, uh, Sam Mushnick uh, had a uh, NWA uh, induction there in, in, his, in his office. Uh, uh, my picture was up in their little Hall of Fame deal, and uh, uh, of course uh, in Houston, Texas uh, also, you know. Uh, so, so I, and now independently, you know, I've been in quite a few, but of course, uh, the main uh, the, the main deal in the whole world is WWE, yeah, and, uh, yeah. you know, to be in that is it, just uh, thrilling, you know. And uh, I have the plaque here in the museum for everybody okay. to see. And uh, uh, so, so once you get here at the uh, Boogie's Wrestling Camp Hall of Fame Museum, uh, you look for it and, and you'll see it. Okay. Uh, uh, next question I have for you is uh, going back to your earlier career. As we're kind of switching guns a little bit, going from here to there. Um, Explain how uh, life was like on the road. Yeah, well, you, you know, it was rough. You know, uh, you're, you're away from uh, uh, your families. Uh, uh, you know, you 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 uh, you, you always work. Uh, um, uh, Frankie uh, holidays, you yeah. know. I, man, I've never had a Christmas day at home, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in probably 40 years. You know, uh, when we went with Crockett's in the 80s. Uh, we would wrestle twice uh, on Christmas Day. We'd do an afternoon show in Greenville, South Carolina, and then come that night, Christmas night, in, in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and, and, and wrestle there. So I'd wrestle twice there. And, uh, um, and so you're always away, you know, and 
you know, you, you, you can't go to your, your yeah. children's, uh, it's tough, you know, can't go to your children's school functions, and you miss their birthdays, you miss their all kinds of stuff, yeah. you know, and uh, it, it's a really rough life uh, uh, for that, you know, and uh, uh, it, it's just uh, uh, really uh, uh, puts, uh, puts a, 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 you know, damper on, on your marriage and different sure, things, sure, you know, sure. and, uh, yes, sir, brother, but, um, hey, it's just one of them things, and I, I talk about this, you know, uh, in my book, you know, and uh, the hardship that the boys go through, and, uh, you know, we were troopers, you know, uh, uh, and no matter what, uh, the show had to go on, we, we wrestled hurt, you know, if you, you had a broke uh, uh, a finger or something, man, we just put like a, a stick on it and tape it up and <laughs> tape it to a good finger and go on, you know, and yeah. we'd set it ourselves most of the times, you know. Uh, um, we get busted open and uh, when you get sewed up we'd butterfly each other you know and, and just keep on going and uh, uh, man uh, you know driving uh, five, six, seven, a hundred miles uh, of one way wrestle and get in the car and go another five hundred miles for the next day and then another six hundred and then another two, three, four hundred you know and uh, uh, you know week after week yeah. you know and uh, uh, seven days a week and uh, you know it just takes a toll on you